Okay, one more lesson here from uh, Chemistry Pace 5, 1125. And I'm going to choose to do uh, problem 43 on page V. Don't you hate it when the example problems are always the easiest, and then the ones that they have you do for the homework are the hard ones? So we're going to actually tackle one of the hard, not hardest, but hard ones for this illustration. And uh, if we walk through these steps and we can figure out what we're doing, then you can go back and hopefully do the rest of the problems on page U and V, and they'll seem easy in comparison, okay? So in this problem, um, 43 here, it says silver chlorate decomposes to form silver chloride, okay, and oxygen in this reaction. And then uh, it's not a balanced reaction, so we're going to have to balance this first. And then we're going to notice that we were given that we have 480 grams of the aluminum chlorate, I mean, um, silver chlorate, and we have to find how many grams of silver chloride will be produced. All right? So let's look up here and uh, see if we can balance this equation. Now, just looking at it, I have uh, one silver here, one here, one chlorine, one chlorine. So the problem is the oxygen, right? We have two over there, and we have three here. Now think back to doing math. Um, in, uh, in, even in junior high and, and getting a common denominator. So I kind of think of this similar to a common denominator. Two and three, what's the common denominator? would be six. So if I change this to be a two out here, now I have six oxygen, and then I change that to be a three, and now I have six oxygen. So I solved one problem, but of course I created a couple more. Um, but let's see if we can quickly fix that. We have six oxygen. I can go back. I have two silver. If I change that to two, ah, two silver, two silver, two chlorine, and two chlorine. So we're good. We have uh, the equation balanced now at this point. Now this problem, notice, does not give us how many moles of aluminum chlorate. I mean, uh, I keep saying aluminum, silver chlorate. It gives us grams. And the only way we can do stoichiometry correctly, this is very, very, very important, we have to compare moles to moles. That's the only thing that will work. We cannot compare grams to grams. It will not, will not get the right answer, okay? So we have to convert the grams into moles. And I think there was a flow chart perhaps somewhere in the pace that showed this. We can go from moles A to moles B, but if we are given our given information is in grams, we first convert to moles, then find the answer in moles. Sometimes we're done, okay, depending on the question. A couple of the questions said how many moles are produced. You get to that point, you're done. This particular problem that I chose makes us go one step further and go on and find the answer in grams, okay? So let's go back and first start with this and find out if I have 480 grams, how many moles is that? Well, I wrote it down up here that AgClO3, if we add from the periodic table, all right, so on here is uh, silver, 107, it's rounded to 0.87 here, but 0.868, and then if we uh, grab the chlorine, 35.453, we have three oxygen at 16 each, we add all that up, we get 191.319. And that is the, that's the number of grams in one mole, all right? So we put one mole up here, and down here it's 191.319 grams per mole. And then when we divide that, um, and I'm going to cheat here and look at the score key just so that I uh, get the exact answer that you're supposed to get. Um, yeah, so it works out to be... 2.50 moles, all right, and that's moles of AgClO3. 
Okay, sorry, it's a little sloppy there, but I wanted to label it so we don't forget what that is. Now what we're going to do is convert from moles to moles. So if I have, let's start with 2.5 moles of AgClO3, and now I want to put that on the bottom, and we're converting to moles of AgCl. Let's look at the coefficients. This was 2, and this was 2, okay? So we look at the balanced equation to see what coefficients go on here. Notice the one that's given always goes on the bottom. The one I'm converting into goes on the top. And now when I compare or do the multiplication, 2.5 times 2 is 5. Divided by 2, ta-da, I get 2.5 moles. But now I have moles of AgCl. And if that was all the question asked for, if it said find the moles of AgCl2, the answer would be 2.5. However, this problem says we need to go one step further, take the moles that we just found, convert it into mass. So one last step, 2.5 moles and one mole of AgCl is 143.321 grams. Okay, so each mole, and you again, you could find that by just adding the chlorine's mass plus the mass of the silver. You get 143.321. And then when we multiply, actually I did that wrong, okay? Because as I'm starting to do this, I'm realizing, wait a minute, that's going to give me moles squared. <laughs> I don't want moles squared. So let's write this as the mass on top over one mole. There we go. <clears throat> and that way moles will cancel moles, and the answer will come out in grams of AgCl2. And I'm not going to do that last step for you, okay? You use your calculator, do the last step, get your answer, and you will have found the mass in grams of AgCl2 that was produced. Okay, hopefully that was helpful to you.